So we've got a nice little um, fissure through here, which the sediment was actually ejected up through. You can see a nice little cross section up through here. That all the sediment up here has come uh, erupted up through. Then you can start to see these nails here and marking out different layers. So if you clear this up a little bit, you can see there's a nice colour change coming in through here. And we're hoping that you can correlate these to different earthquake events, which would have some interesting implications for if you can find paleo liquefaction as well. You can correlate them back to different events. There's things that have happened in the past. Yes, yeah. Has anyone done this kind of detailed mapping work in New Zealand before? For liquefaction? <sighs> Liquefaction is one of those things that is still associated with every earthquake. So there have been cases up around like the Hawke's Bay and where you have had liquefaction. Um, I haven't been able to find many um, geological based studies. They tend to be quite um, like geotechnical with equations and to explain the phenomenon. But so in this backyard might be the first actual hands on mapping of this kind of event. Well there has been a lot of mapping but hopefully we can start figuring out how geology is influencing liquefaction a bit more rather than just specific environments.